Despite four consecutive bridesmaid finishes in the mid to late 90s, the Green Archer's resolve to win a championship has never wavered. The pain and lessons from each final setback laid the groundwork for what will eventually be one of the greatest title runs in the UAAP. Let's all look back at LaSalle's historic forepeat, a championship dynasty that crossed two decades, two centuries, and two millenniums. Entering the 61st UAP season, the Green Archers are once again billed as the favorites to win it all despite the loss of two-time MVP Mark Tillan. With an intact roster and their stunning finals loss to FEU a year ago well behind them, LaSalle is poised to make the final jump from contenders to champions. But with a little over a month before the tournament starts, the team was dealt with an unexpected coaching change. John Uichiko decided not to return as head coach, and in his place comes Franz Pumaren. He becomes the third Pumaren to call the shots for the Green Archers, after his dad Pilo back when they were still in the NCAA, and his older brother Derek from the time they entered the UAP until the early 90s. With Don Aliado, Ren Ren Ritualo, Dino Aldeguer, and Cali John Orfresho leading the way, LaSalle played with renewed purpose and vigor, blowing out their opponents by an average of 14 points. They finished the elimination round on top, with only one loss coming in overtime against UST. Incidentally, both the Green Archers and Growling Tigers would once again square off in the playoffs for the fifth straight year. With LaSalle having the twice to beat in the semis, they lost the first encounter but managed to avert a reverse outcome of last season's series by escaping with a thrilling win in the deciding game, setting the stage for a finals rematch with defending champion FEU. The Green Archers easily took care of business in Game 1 with a 25-point win, but the Tamaraos would refuse to throw in the towel and kept Game 2 close all throughout. Determined to shed the finals choker label, to end the stigma of finishing bridesmaids for the last four years, the Green Archers gave everything they had down the stretch to seal their date with destiny. The long wait is over. Their time has finally come. LaSalle is once again champions of the UAAP. Being under Tilan's shadow for two seasons, Aliado came into his own to bag MVP honors, while Retualo, with his timely hits from the outside, proved to be the difference maker in the finals. With the monkey now off their backs, as well as experience and continuity on their side, the Green Archers are all primed to repeat as champs the following season. Already locked and loaded to defend their crown, the Green Archers sent shockwaves all over the league as they managed to land Ateneo High School standout BJ Manalo into their fold. Coming off a successful playing career in the UAP Juniors Division, Manalo's transfer to a rival school was unexpected and rather controversial, as he would have been the big help to bring the Blue Eagles back to contention after being a consistent tournament team for the past eight years. Despite some early struggles, LaSalle looked every inch the reigning champions as they once again finished the elimination round as the top seed. With the trio of Aliado, Ritualo, and Aldiguer, with the help coming from senior Francis Zamora, guard Ronald Kuwa, and defensive specialist Mon Jose, Alvin Castro, and Willie Wilson. The Green Archers easily disposed of FEU in the semis to renew their championship rival with UST. Eager to get back at all those consecutive finals losses to the Growling Tigers, the Green Archers unfortunately let Game 1 slip through their fingers, not allowing the memories of past finals ignominy against UST to come back and haunt them. LaSalle forced a winner-take-all showdown for the crown. And in the final UAP game of the 1990s, both squads fought tooth and nail all game, but with the clock winding down to the closing seconds, the Green Archers' chance for a back-to-back -back appeared bleak as they saw themselves trailing by three. Almost similar to the situation they were in back in 1994, the team had one last shot to force overtime. With Ritualo and Aliado unable to get a clear view of the basket, it was Aldeguer who hoisted up a desperation three that miraculously went in. 
Maintaining their endgame composure in the extra session, LaSalle went on to finally beat UST in a championship series and in the process clinched their second consecutive championship. Both playing in their final year, Aliado was named season MVP once again, while for Aldeguer, his heroics that day will forever be remembered as one of the greatest comeback wins in LaSalle basketball. Just as everyone had gotten over the Y2K scare, LaSalle was faced with the tough task of achieving a rare three-peat crown, something that was denied to them by the UAP board back in 1991. The team in fact was not heavily favored to win with the graduation of two-time MVP Aliado and Aldeguer. All eyes were on the re-emerging Blue Eagles as well as intact teams like FEU, UST, and UE. Defying all preseason expectations, the Ren Ren Ritualo led Green Archers soundly thrashed Ateneo during opening day, swept the entire first round, and went on to lose only two games all season. Not even the brief sidelining of Ritualo due to injury midway in the tournament could stop the Green Juggernaut. Thanks to the steady leadership of veterans such as Jose, Castro, Juan, Wilson, comebacking center Adonis Santa Maria, along with the exploits of an electrifying rookie named Mike Cortez, the Archers easily dismantled the opposition, crushing UST once again in the playoffs for their 7th straight championship appearance. When Retualo returned from his injury, the Archers could not be denied a three-peat this time around. Up against FEU, the same team that denied them a Grand Slam in 1991, the Archers were hell-bent on vengeance. Perhaps it was poetic justice, they achieved the three-peat by sweeping the Tams to run away with their third consecutive crown. The title won in 2000 was a result of total team effort, something that characterized and defined the Green Archers in the seasons to follow. With seniors Jose Castro and Kuan gone entering season 64, the team's fate rested in the hands of Retualo as he looked to lead a rookie-laden group for another run at the title in his final year. Of the many new faces in the team, there was one who certainly stood out from the rest all season. With his rather awkward and unorthodox offensive moves, the previously unknown Mac Mac Cardona was certainly the biggest surprise of the year. He wasn't spared from controversy though, as his eligibility was investigated by the board even after the period for questioning player eligibility had lapsed. Eventually, Cardona was cleared to play. With Retualo, Cortez, Cardona, Manalo, Wilson and Santa Maria at the helm, the Green Archers cruised through the elimination to finish at 12-2. They easily beat NU in the Final Four, thus arranging a dream showdown with rival Ateneo in the Finals. Despite having convincingly beaten the Blue Eagles twice in the eliminations, the Green Archers had to fight their way to prevail in Game 1. They, however, were unable to close it out in Game 2 as Ateneo mounted a late fourth quarter rally to force a deciding match for the crown. With momentum on their side, the Blue Eagles led by double digits at the half. But the Green Archers' defense and championship experience was the difference maker in the end as they went on to win their fourth straight championship. Coming up big in the decider was rookie Carlos Sharma who delivered the much-needed help on the offensive end while limiting Ateneo main man Enrico Villanueva to just 5 points. Coach Franz Pumarin described this season as a stormy one compared to other seasons. Despite handling a team filled with rookies and with only a few veterans, it was amazing how he managed to bring out the best in each of his players en route to a rare four-peat. Cardona was bestowed the Rookie of the Year award, while Ritualo was named MVP of the Finals, capping a brilliant collegiate career which led to his jersey number being retired the following year. If there's one thing that could best describe LaSalle's journey to the top, you could say that it's been a hell of a roller coaster ride. Despite all the controversies, setbacks, and challenges, the Green Archers always stayed the course to eventually win not just one, 
but four straight UAAP championships.